Hello, everyone. You're watching PokerNews.com, and welcome back to our coverage of the World Series of Poker. I am with Nick Shulman. Hello. Now, we kicked off our coverage here this year at the Super High Roller Bowl, and I know you did it last year, but I didn't cover it, so I was actually kind of surprised. I didn't know that you were a commentator, and it was actually amazing. It was super entertaining, super informative. For me, I was really impressed. So first off, just... You know, I wanted to talk a little bit about getting your feet wet in this commentating game. How did it come about? Is it something you always wanted to do? Well, thank you, first of all, for the kind words. Uh, no, I never really thought about doing it, but Maury, who uh, produces a lot of the Poker Central stuff and Carrie Katz, reached out to me. And, uh, you know, I love to watch poker. I love to talk about poker. So it just, uh, it was kind of a no-brainer to take it. And, uh... It's been really touching, the, the, some of the positive responses and stuff. And, uh, you know, I love doing it. It's, it's a tough bag, and it's funny, you know, I think all, all summer long, of course, we're listening to lots of different poker players as they all jump in on the streams. Yeah. And it is just kind of a, a weird niche where, for, for whatever reason, for some people it's easy and it works, and for other people, you know, maybe not so much. But, you know, I think something that makes it really difficult is that you really do have to call out players kind of, you know, making mistakes or yeah. how they're playing. So yeah. how, how has that been for you? How, are you? how are you balancing that kind of element? Well, to be honest, I think, uh, I think I took the high road a few times where going forward, were I to do it again, I, I, I do think sometimes I would... I, I, kind of my style is, is to try my best to present the player's thought process as opposed to mine because I think just for me I find it more interesting and I think that people listening you know if I, I'd like to say what I think Phil is thinking or what I think whoever's thinking what I'm thinking I will interject sometimes but but that's just sort of my style but at the same time that is sort of seeing the the glass is half full if you will sometimes so maybe there are times I, I saw a few plays where I mentioned what I thought they were thinking. What I was thinking was, well, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but listen, I mean, I, we all make mistakes. We all make plays that can be perceived as terrible. And, and that really is the beauty of poker. So I do, I do love that aspect of it, that often one person will say, well, that was terrible. And another person will say, well, I liked it. And this is why. And, and that's kind of my style, sort of. You make a case for almost anything. <laughs> well, I just also wanted to ask you, because I know, you know, I've done bracelet interviews with you, uh, and you tend to really crush the mixed games. You're in the horse right now. Um, do you, does it seem to come back and then do these Hold'em games and to comment for them? Are you, like, coming back to these really old, old roots? I feel like you're the mixed game guy. <laughs> well, uh, I definitely play more mixed games, but I'm, I'm very passionate about No Limit. It, it, it's still my favorite game. And uh, I do work on it when I'm when I'm not playing. Even if even if I can't really get a chance to play, I, I do try to try to work on my game, try to stay fresh, and uh, just be ready if, if some no limit stuff pops off. You know, so I love all forms of poker. I, I, I do play much more mixed games, but but I, I like to think about no limit constantly. I can't help it, even even if I'm not playing. Spoken like a true poker player. Well, I'll give you some time on your break, but I just really quickly wanted to to give a shout out. Still, are you still running a, a pool hall in New York? You still have yeah, that going? Yeah, wow, I appreciate that. Thank you, Society Billiards and Bar. Check it out, Manhattan, 21st between Fifth and Broadway. Uh, mention the code. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I got no no promos, <laughs> but, but go spend some money, have some fun. You know. There's a secret at the door. I'm just <laughs> yeah, kidding. Exactly. All right. Also, well, I appreciate it, Nick Shulman. Good luck, of course, in the horse. I'm Sarah Herring. You guys are with us on PokerNews.com. Awesome.